Hi there, it's Paul. So I want to do a quick tutorial on doing resources and building a budget in Microsoft Project. Let's have a look at what I've got. I've got a very small project here. It's got only six steps in it. So I've got engineering, materials, plumbing, electrical, inspection, and then final inspection. And I started out doing my estimate in Excel. So I've got my durations here, but that doesn't do much for my for doing my budget. But in this column, I've got my estimated costs. So engineering, I've got an estimate of $800. And that might be based on past experience. Materials, I've got an estimate of 3000 Plumbing, electrical, inspection, and final inspection. So those are my best estimate costs. Some of them are, some of them I, I would get quotes to put the information in, others I might just go on history, or I might even do just my best estimate, my best guess. The next thing I want to do is I want to give some indication of how good I think that number is. So for these first two, I said, okay, my confidence is medium. It's a pretty good number, but it's not an exact number. So it's medium confidence, and those are the two highest dollar amounts in the project. So because they're medium, I'm going to take each one of these, and I'm just going to bump it up a little bit. So instead of 800, I'll put in 1,000. And instead of 3,000, I'll put in 3,500. Uh, these guys down here, my inspections, well, I know my inspector always charges $150. That's the price it's been for a long time, and it, it should continue that way. So my confidence is high in those numbers, and I'm going to just use that number because I know it's a pretty good number. Okay, so that's my budget column. Now, the next thing I'm going to do with my budget is I'm going to add 10% contingency just to cover things that I never thought of or maybe things are going to change. So I want some contingency in my budget. So I put in 10% and I came up with a total of 6160. So that's doing it kind of manually in Excel. Now let's see how we can do something similar in Microsoft Project. Okay, I've minimized that. There's my Excel sheet on the left and on the right I've got this same project in Microsoft Project. So there's my, my six columns. And I don't have any resources and I don't have any uh, dollars in this right now. So with Microsoft Project, it's designed more for tracking a project as you go. It's not really set up for doing estimates for a project or for doing budgeting prior to doing the project. There are some some features built into it where you can do a little bit of budgeting but you can't really tie that budget to your actual numbers so it really doesn't work very well so you have to do some workarounds. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add resources in that I can tie dollars to and then I can tie those resources into these six tasks that I have here. So I can't just put money on each task. I have to create a resource, put the money on the resource, and then link that resource into the task. So it's a little bit, uh, certainly not as slick as it is in Excel. But let's go ahead and do that. So over here, I'm going to use this click down. And oh, let me switch the task. There we go. So I need to find resource sheet. I'll click on that. And the first one, I'm going to just call it ENG. And material. I just want a little bit different uh, word here so it's different than the task name. I've got plumbing. I've got electrical. And I've got two inspections. Okay, the default is work, so that's labor hours. And what it wants to do is it wants to track, uh, you know, $50 an hour times eight hours per day and come up with a price or a cost that way. 
I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it by uh, numbers like I have here in my Excel estimate. So I'm going to change each one of these to a material. Even though I know labor is not a material, but that's the type that I want to use because I just want one number in there. So I change each to a material and my cost per usage first one's going to be 800 for engineering uh, materials going to be 3000 plumbing is going to be 500 oh I'm using the wrong column I'm using my estimates I should be using this budget column so let's go back and cancel that thousand dollars thirty five hundred plumbing I've got in at five hundred electrical at three hundred and inspections at hundred and fifty each okay there's my resource table now I'll go back to my Gantt chart and I'm going to link those resources to each one of these tasks so engineering gets Eng materials gets material plumbing gets plum electrical gets elec and these two inspections both get inspection INSP okay so what I've done is I put the dollars in the resource and then I link the resource to the task it's kind of a roundabout way now let me see if I double click on one of these to open it up I don't have any information on my costs I've got my resource there and I've got a cost number there so I've got a little bit of information tied but I have no no summary all right I have all my resources linked to my tasks now I need a summary for my whole project and to do that I'll put a new task at the start so insert task and I'm just gonna call this project and all of the ones below I'm going to demote by one level so I'm gonna tab those guys in with this little key right here the indent key and that makes that top line a summary for the whole project now I need to see something about my numbers and there's a few different ways to do this but probably one of the easiest ways is to use a baseline so I'm gonna add a new column so I want baseline cost you might have noticed there's a baseline budget and I don't want to use that one I want to use just baseline okay here's my baseline cost and it's all zeros so the, the information is not carried over into the baseline to get it there I have to update the baseline I need to set the baseline right here set baseline for the entire project and now that's updated with all of my all of my numbers but you notice this is not I've got 6160 here I've only got 4600 here because for one thing I put 2500 instead of 3500 so I need to go fix that so let's go back to my resource sheet and make that 3500 and so this is kind of interesting I, I updated that but it didn't update here to get it updated here I have to resave my baseline so go back to project and set baseline again for the entire project 
and now it's updated. So now I'm closer, I'm at 5600, but I don't have my contingency in there. And I don't have a way of calculating the contingency for this. Well, there is some ways, but I'm going to do it kind of a quick and dirty way. I'm just going to put a task in and call it contingency. Create a resource called contingency, change it to a material, and I'm going to put 560. Go back to my Gantt chart, and I need to add this resource of contingency. And now I'll save my baseline again. And now I've got my contingency in there, and everything adds up to the same number as it does over in Excel. So I guess already you can see that this is a little bit cumbersome doing it in Microsoft Project. All right, so that's doing project cost planning in project management. It's a little bit awkward doing it that way. The upside is that you have the numbers in your project plan to carry forward to when you actually do the project and do your tracking. But it's a, a little bit cumbersome to do it. So if you want to do it that way, give it a shot. If you want to just use Microsoft Excel and do it real quick and, and very neatly in my opinion, then use Microsoft Excel. Oh, I guess the one benefit to doing a Microsoft project is once you've got the data in, then you've got access to all these different reports. So just with the click of a button, you can see information about your budget. So it's kind of a nice way to report it that way but it's kind of cumbersome putting it in. So it's kind of up to the user how they want to do it. Okay, thanks a lot.